Bob Arum, brought to you by Boost Mobile, Money is Power, and also by Caesars Sportsbook. You bet, you get an unbelievable night of fights coming up this Saturday, June 18th. We begin at 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus, and then you can move over to the network at 10 o'clock Eastern. The network is ESPN. As I said, an unbelievable night of fights. A stacked card. Tip of the cap to Bruce Trampler and Brad Goodman for putting this lineup together featuring Jahai Tucker, Floyd Diaz, Troy Isley, Bruce Carrington joining me on the stage. And in our co-feature, the vacant USBA and WBO global titles on the line featuring Abraham Nova and Robesi Ramirez. We are sitting in this legendary arena under this iconic ceiling. Saturday night in New York City is going to be full of fireworks. Thank you, gentlemen, for getting this press conference started. And welcome to everyone tuning in on the Top Rank Twitter feed and YouTube. It is exciting to be in New York City, our second straight weekend. And what a weekend it is going to be. Bruce, we're going to start with you, first of all. Welcome inside Madison Square Garden. It's pretty cool to be sitting here in the middle of this empty cathedral, the mecca of boxing. How does it feel? Uh, man, it feels great uh, once again to be fighting uh, in this historical arena. Um, highly blessed to have back-to-back -back fights in my hometown as well. Um, this is a great experience for me, and I'm ready to tackle this head, um, head on. Yeah, Brooklyn's going to show up to support, no oh, doubt. Definitely, definitely. This is, like you just said, your second fight now in the Garden. Does that motivate you? Does that inspire you even more to excel, to get better? What are we looking forward to Saturday night? Oh, well, definitely. I mean, well, that's, that's what you're supposed to do as a fighter anyway, is just, you know, get better than your last fight. Um, but definitely coming back into fighting in my hometown and giving my folks and fans something new to see, oh yeah, I definitely plan on doing that coming on Saturday. Do you have any memories that you can share with us about coming to the Garden to see fights? What was your, uh, your favorite memory coming to see fights at the Garden? Oh man, I have a few. I mean, I used to always come out here to the, to, in the Garden to watch the Golden Gloves. I used to always watch Daniel Jacobs and Saddam Ali, you know, just dominating the Golden Gloves in the Hulu Theater. But also I remember watching um, Kodo and Zab Judah out here. And man, that was a spectacle itself. And it was something to be in, uh, to be in, a, in the presence of. You've got a great, great, uh, group of folks in your corner. Uh, thank you. And every time out in your young career, we see new additions to your skill set, different tricks being pulled out of that backpack. What can we see Saturday night possibly that we haven't seen to date? Oh, well, to be honest, it all depends on what my opponent you know, uh, brings to the table. Um, I just adjust to whatever he does. And uh, it's, you know, if he's able to bring something new out of me, then that's something that you, uh, you guys will see. Listen, thank you for taking a few minutes and, and spending time with us. It's always exciting for Top Rank to have Brooklyn in the house, and uh, Saturday night we're expecting fireworks from thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you uh, guys are having me here again. Yes, thanks for spending time. All right, our co-feature sitting on either side of me, the vacant USBA and WBO global titles on the line, Abraham Nova, Robesi Ramirez. Uh, Robesi, I was looking over here, but we're going to start with you. We're going to start with you. Your last few fights, we've seen tremendous growth from you. Tremendous growth. What do you attribute that to? Eh, Robesi, en tus últimas peleas hemos visto un crecimiento tremendo eh, en cuanto a tu progresión. ¿A qué se lo atribuyes? Bueno, creo que, que se ha visto que, como digo siempre, eh, depende de mi, mi rival la calidad de mi rival, eh, voy, voy subiendo yo mi nivel, por lo tanto creo que, que se ha debido a, a que hemos ido subiendo la, la posición y a que hemos ido haciendo un trabajo físico y, y mentalmente eh, eh, más a nivel. Well, I've always said that I fight to the level of my opposition, so in the measure that I continue to fight uh, better fighters, uh, I continue to look better. Um, so first and foremost, I attribute it to that, also to my uh, strength and conditioning, which I've also uh, devoted a lot to, um, and mentally, I'm as strong as ever. Yeah, a lot of people talking about this co-feature. Abraham, I want to talk to you. Uh, two fights now since moving down to featherweight. Why this fight? Why now? You know, um, 
I've been trying out at 130 to um, fight for the title, but I haven't got my opportunity. And I felt like there was a lot of um, political things going on. So I said, let me go down 26 and see if I, I can make a run. I wanted the, Nav the Navarrete fight, but the fight, you know, he, he, I guess he didn't want the fight. So, um, you know, we're basically was next in line. And I feel like a, a win over him um, puts me right there for a title shot next. Yeah, it's fireworks for sure. I've been saying that word all day, walking into the building. Coming into this fight, you are the underdog. The, the books have you as an underdog in this fight. Do you feel like you're overlooked, underestimated in this one? 100%, you know, um, big time. I feel like I'm, I'm very overlooked. Um, people that haven't seen the best of me. Um, in, fights, in fights, you know, I do this, I do that, I do everything. I always fix them and come back and do better. You guys are going to see a complete supernova on Saturday night. I promise you that. I want to come back to Robesi. Uh He hinted at a title shot, obviously. Do you feel that you uh, this fight puts you in line, the trajectory for a title shot yourself as well? Eh, tu oponente acaba de decir que parte de la decisión para, para escoger esta pelea es que estaría en línea eh, para disputar por un título mundial. ¿Piensas tú de, de la misma manera que, que de salir eh, victorioso en esta pelea estarías en línea para competir por un título mundial? Por supuesto, si, si decidimos tomar esta pelea fue con, por esa cuestión. Eh, la, todos saben quién es, quién es Abraham, todo el mundo sabe el récord que tiene, por lo tanto, eh, teniendo una victoria aquí me pone a punto, a un paso de, de, estar, de pelear por el título. Definitivamente era el paso que queríamos y fue la pelea que, que, que estábamos buscando, realmente no, no estábamos esperando a que, a que se diera otra pelea que no fuera esta. Of, of course, um, uh, this is exactly uh, what I had in mind when I when I chose to take this fight. Um, everybody knows uh, Abraham's uh, record. Um, he's an undefeated fighter. Uh, a win over him would definitely place me atop the rankings of, of various organisms. So, so that is exactly why I took this fight with with the World Championship opportunity in mind. And I do believe that I'm a, I'm a fight away uh, or so. Uh, and after winning this fight, um, the, the, well, I'll be at the door of the, uh, the opportunity for a world championship. I'm going to stay with Rebasi. Help me translate this one. Like you just mentioned, undefeated fighter to my left. Uh, anything that he had to bring to camp to be prepared for a fighter like Abraham Nova? Siguiendo la línea de, de que no va invicto y demás, eh, algo en particular sobre su estilo que hiciera que, que tú hicieras algún ajuste específico en tu preparación para él. No, creo que, que no hicimos ningún ajuste, simplemente hicimos un campo de, de entrenamiento eh, para una pelea igual que otra. Es un rival que, que al final tiene dos brazos igual y va a ser el mismo bolseo, eh, por lo tanto simplemente estar bien preparado físicamente y salir a trabajar. No, um, no, honestly, no, nothing different, just a full camp, um, same preparation as always, uh, it's just another opponent, at the end of the day, he, he has two arms, uh, two fists, you know, the same thing, so, so nothing really different in, in, in my preparation other than taking it seriously as that, always taking on my opponents. Hey, Ram, I'm coming over to you, having, having heard that now, uh, what about yourself? Anything you adjusted in camp to prepare yourself a little differently for Saturday night, or is this just business as usual? It's always business as usual, but you know, in training camp, I did, you know, did a lot of adjustments. You know, he's a lefty, I'm a righty, so I gotta get lefty sparring partners. I had, you know, uh, different sparring partners every week to get different looks, different looks, you know, and um, uh, we have a great game plan, and I'm ready to execute it Saturday night. Uh, last time out, you got a little splashy. There was a Nova mascot which made an appearance. Are we going to see that mascot from here on out? Like, he's coming with you at every fight, or we got anything up your sleeve planned for Saturday's walkouts? Look, the way you guys see mascots in football games and baseball games and basketball games, I'm bringing it to boxing. You, go, you guys can always see a mascot when I'm fighting because I, this is an entertainment sport and this is what I do. I love it. I love it. Listen, gentlemen, thank you so much for spending a few minutes. I'm going to ask you now to place your microphones on your chairs, and we are going to do a quick photo before we get to the main event. Shushu Carrington first for you guys and then our co-feature.